So today I'm going to show you how I do my everyday makeup. Well, not everyday because I'm not going anywhere, but <laughs> whenever I do go anywhere and I do wear makeup, this is what I do. Or whenever I'm taking Instagram pictures, this is the makeup that I always do. And pretty much that in those makeup, I really don't wear eyeshadow. So I'm not sure if I even want to do eyeshadow. But the first thing I'm going to do is prime and I'm going to use my Urban Decay um, All Nighter face primer. Other products that I'm using is going to be listed in the description bar as well as links to those things as well as the shade that I'm using. So I'm going to use that. I'm just using one pump because I'm just putting around my mouth area and that's it. Um, already moisturize and stuff. I'm gonna color correct. I've been loving these e.l.f. concealers. So I'm using um, e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer in rich chocolate. I'm gonna use that around my mouth area. And blend that in. And this is my Real Technique buffing brush. I like to use something a little bit darker and more red undertone enough to color correct my mouth area and sometimes depending on how um, my face look I'll put it on my dark spot but to be honest I like when my imperfections kind of peep through my makeup so I'm not really breaking out that, that bad or there's not much dark spot on my face so I'm not gonna do it and I'm just literally patting that into place than rubbing because I don't want it to go all over the place. So that's what I'm doing. Next, I am going to put on my foundation. I've been really loving the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in, what shade is this? 515 and the NYX Born to Glow um, Foundation in Cappuccino. I have a lot of foundation but I'm like a creature of habit it's hard for me to move but as I said I'm showing you what I use when I'm taking my Instagram pictures and this is what I've been using so I'm gonna use it so I'm gonna use one pump of the L'Oreal and I'm gonna shake this up a little bit of the Born to Glow I use way too much but that's okay so this is what it looks like I'm just gonna put that on my skin. I think I'm going to use my e.l.f. brush. I don't remember what this brush is called but I've been loving using brushes to do my makeup. Y'all know that I've been using brushes to do my makeup for a while now so I'm going to just dab a little bit and then start to work that into my skin. It looks a little bit light on camera but I promise it's not light. So because I'm on lighting. And I'm literally pressing this into my skin down to top and bringing that down on my neck. I don't really put foundation on my forehead no more. I literally use whatever remain on the brush and just barely like do anything. Like this is what it is. That pretty much that's what I do. I use way too much foundation, but whatever. So after that, I would go in with my concealer, and I've been 
using more than one concealer. So I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. concealer again in Deep Caramel and I'm just gonna put like one layer under my eyes and I'm gonna just blend that out Honestly, I don't even know why I do this. <laughs> kind of like curl correcting, but not really because it's not like how dark circles. So I don't even know why I do this, but whatever. Then I go in with my Too Faced Going This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in Maple. And I put some, not a lot, but I just blend that out a little bit. I bring some on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, on my chin, on my cup is full. And this is what I do. I literally blend out my chin first, then my cup is full, then my forehead, then I left um, the concealer under my eyes then I go on to contour so I want that to kind of dry down a little bit to give me a little bit more coverage and to let it be a little bit harder to blend so it don't go all over my face because that ain't cute I want it to stay in the center of my face so the more it dry down a little bit the better it is for you to control so that's the reason why I'm gonna let it sit so in the meantime I'm gonna go in and color, um, contour and I'm using the Juvia's Place stick foundation and I like to put my contour on top of my cheekbone so whenever I blend it, it go right in the olives of my cheek. Instead of putting it um, right in the olives of my cheek because when I blend it, it's gonna go all the way down and that's not cute, that's not what we're going for. So I'm gonna put it on top. So my olives right here, so I'm gonna put it on top. So right here. And this is very pigmented so I just need like a little bit. And then because a little girl gained some weight and I don't really like my face raw and I'm going to try and sculpt my face so I'm going to put some one line under my cheekbone, under my jawline. Sometimes I would go like under my chin, like right here, but I'm just going to do this for the sake of the video. <laughs> um, then I'll probably just go like this, even though I don't really do that as much. I don't contour my, my forehead because I don't think I need to. Um, yeah, then I would go in with my brush, which I used the Elf Stippling Brush, Small Stippling Brush, and I always start from my jawline, my cheekbone, my, yeah, my jawline, and this is how I blend it, just to give the illusion of smaller and more defined jawline. gonna blend this because you know contouring is like making things look smaller highlighting is making things come for forward so bring forward if you guys can see the difference but <laughs> my girl is trying to cut down so this is what I'm saying like when I blend it now it goes right in my jawline. And I'm doing like circular motion and tugging motion at the same time. Okay, so now that's done, I'm gonna go in and start to blend up my concealer. And I like to start my concealer right there and then I like to bring it on the side of my nose just to reverse contour. And I'm patting while I'm doing it. So now that's finished, I'm going to nose contour my nose. Nose contour. I'm gonna contour my nose and I'm using this e.l.f. eyeshadow blending brush. 
I'm just gonna dab that, then dab the excess on my back of my hands and I'm gonna lightly carve up my nose. I like to bring it into my brows. It kind of make everything look appear smaller or narrow, whichever word you want to use. Sometimes I'll put some on my cupid sword to make things more pronounced. Then I go in with my concealer brush just to blend everything out. After that, I like to go in with a brighter concealer. And I've been I was using the Adri Wine concealer in caramel, but I used to use you know the OG um LA Girl Pro concealer. I used to use Fawn, but I had a warm honey, so I decided I'll pick this up today when I went to the beauty supply. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm using just a little bit like just to give a little bit more brightness under my eyes. And I'm gonna use that also on the bridge of my nose. I'm not gonna let that sit, I'm just gonna blend it out. Then I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend the sides. Sometimes I'll even get a little bit of the foundation and just blend. So everything can look seamlessly. back in with the brush so that's that go back in with the contour and then just define that again so nothing is gone right then I'm gonna set my under eyes and I'm using um, Sasha Buttercup. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm never gonna stop using this until I find something else. But I'm not buying it. So, <laughs> and uh, gonna use a damp sponge. This is the only time I use a sponge when I'm setting my under eyes. So I'm gonna ensure all the creases are gone from my eyes. Then. I like to put a little bit on my brows because my brows tend to get a little bit shiny. My chin, which on my nose. Then I'm gonna use my Fenty powder to set my face. Bronze is in Becca bronzer. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush and using the Juvia's face blush. Next, I would um, literally put on my lashes, and I got this lash from Beauty Supply. It's my first time I'm gonna try it, so this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do this off camera. So my lashes are on. I really like these. These look like 
literally like eyelash extensions i'm going to line my lash line I'm not doing a wing or anything, just line my lash line. Line my lower lash line with a brown liner. I've been really loving using brown liner instead of black. So I'm gonna line that. And I got this one from the beauty supply store today. So I don't know how it's gonna work. This ain't working, so I'm gonna go with my Urban Decay eyeliner. And I bring this all the way in my inner third up. Then I would go in with a little bit of eyeshadow, brown eyeshadow on my lower lash line, a dark brown. And I'll blend that out. Next, I am going to set my face. I don't really wear highlighter that much no more. The only place I do put highlighter is on the bridge of my nose. And I'm gonna do that just right here. Right here. And then I'll put some in my inner tear duct just to Brighten my eyes a little bit. I said I might just go like this just because for the excess. Then I'm gonna do my lower lash line with my mascara to make that pop. Gonna line my lips. So recently I've been either using this lip NYX matte soft matte lip stick or I've been adding some gloss on top of it. So I am going to line my lips with brown lip liner. I'm gonna go with this one. It's called Brown from I don't even know. I got this from this by I like that, but I'm gonna go in with my regular brown liner that I've been using. And I've been using Downtown Beauty by NYX. It's a really nice uh, lip liner. It's a little bit lighter than um, Chestnut from MAC. I'm gonna put just one layer of this. So this is what I've been wearing, but I feel like I'm going to put some gloss on it. I'm not sure what you guys think, but this is what I've been doing to take my pictures on Instagram. I'm going to finish up my hair off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys the finish. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I add some of the gloss to my lips, which I told you that sometimes I put the gloss on my lips and I put the color pop ultra gloss in Fantasia on top of the lipstick that I or liquid whatever you want to call it but so this is the finish this is the makeup foundation routine that I always do whenever I'm about to take pictures or if I'm going out um, so yeah I hope you guys like it if so don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as hit the bell button so you get notified whenever I post new videos Follow me on Instagram and comment below and let me know what you think. So take care guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.